Hello YouTube, Wildcat Piper here coming to you from the Wildcat Lounge. I just did a video a second ago and wanted to come back on here and do a VR to Defiant Pipes, Mr. Max, and um, he's got a great channel. Um, he really is one of the guys I, I watch when his videos come up. I, I like uh, what he does and how he does things. Very cool. And he was wanting for us to give his son just some words of wisdom or encouragement or words to live by or just something that, you know, he could continually express to his son about life. And before I give those, Max, I just want to tell you that I don't know if you need anything from us. Um, just from listening to your videos and the way you, t you talk and express yourself, I think you're really on the right path. Um, I think you have some great words of wisdom for us, and I think that that goes over to your son. So I uh, hope that uh, you don't see this at least coming from me as... You're not doing a good job because obviously you are. Just listening to your heart expressed on here, um, I think it's easily seen that you have a a very strong love for your son, and I think that's great. The other thing that I wanted to say before I give these is I don't have any kids. Um, neither my wife or I. This is my second marriage. Neither one of us have kids. And uh, just never had that opportunity. Um, but uh, I have been working with kids for 35 plus years. And when I say working with kids, it's kids from the age of first grade and kindergarten all the way up through high school and into college. Um, 35 years have spanned the gamut there. And even right now in a part-time youth ministry that I'm doing, I have kids from, the, basically I work with kids from first grade through 12th grade, but I also oversee the preschool department. So I'm kind of in touch with all age groups. Um, over the years of ministry, I've, I've worked with kids who have, who actually attempted suicide the, the, that day, called me right after they attempted to. Um, I've talked with kids who've gone through dealing with murder, um, going to juvenile with kids. I have worked with kids who uh, have gone through abortions, who have gone through childbirth and as teenagers, and all of that, all those pressures that kids go through, I really have dealt with drugs, dealing with drugs, helping a guy get out of dealing drugs. <laughs> I mean, I've worked with a, a lot of different kinds of kids, and I've also had a, a few famous kids there, here and there. And most of my kids turn out great, and they do great things, firemen, police officers. Um, I actually did a, a funeral for one of my students who was a police officer who was killed in, in the in the on duty and um, that was an experience I'll never forget. So anyway, I've kind of run the gamut with kids and hopefully some of the things that I share will be some things that you can pull out and adapt and say to your son. Here And, and to, to try and get it down to three is a difficult thing, but I actually did it with two and then Max, I got something, uh, a, some encouragement for you as well. The first thing of it that I have here is the getting up is more important than the staying up. And what I mean by that is life's going to knock you down. It's, it's going to just flatten you. And the way that our society chooses to deal with it these days is to, you know, go to cry rooms and Play-Doh rooms. And that's just not the way we need to view a difficult thing. The getting up from that situation is far more important than the staying up because the getting up is what builds character. The getting up is what builds integrity. The getting up is what builds strength and confidence. 
And when you're able to do that, then you're able to overcome a lot of things. Now, it doesn't mean that your you're getting up is going to be easy. And it doesn't mean that you're getting up is it going to take a while to do. But once you complete that, then I, I guarantee you, your life's going to be stronger and more ready for the world as you go through it. So that's my first thing to you, Max Jr. The second thing that I would say is uh, you and only you control your integrity. There are a lot of things out there that we cannot control. We can't control if we get let go or if they get downsized. We can't control if we don't make a sports team. We can't control if we um, lose a girlfriend. Um, we can't control a lot of things. But one thing we do control is our integrity. You know, how do people see us visually dealing with that situation or dealing with situations that put us in a bind? We control our integrity. That's the only thing that we, one of the only things that we can control. So I would encourage you, Max Jr., that you control your integrity in a way that allows you to succeed in life, but more importantly, allows you to allow people to look at you in a different way. So, um... I want to give you that encouragement. The third thing, Max, is to you. And that is people don't care how much you know till they know how much you care. And what I mean by that is um, your knowledge is far less important to your son than him just hanging out with you, him just doing stuff with you. And you can teach him along the way. But to just throw knowledge at him um, is not as important as just throwing your life at him. Giving him uh, um, encouragement through the years, even when he does things bad. I'll give you an example of that. My father, uh, growing up, he was a real estate agent. He was a uh, worked in a factory, you know, ten plus hours a day. He uh, was a Sunday school teacher. He was an elder in our church. But he was also our coach. He coached me in Little League from the, from the time I could put a ball on the tee until I got into high school. And um, every year he, he did that. And you would think that when he got home from, from a hard day of work that he would go in and lay down and sit down. Nah. He grabbed the ball glove and we head out to the yard. He grabbed a football. We head out to the yard and we would just uh, toss the ball or whatever together. The other thing I like to, uh, that I admire about my dad is that he didn't talk to me just to discipline me. Oh yeah, he disciplined. <laughs> uh, he didn't. He didn't shy away from that. He was a very, very st strict father. Um, one of his things he told me one time is, you know, if you go to the, if you go to jail, just know that I love you and I'll see you when you get out. <laughs> I mean, there was no bailing out on on his end. Um, he, he wanted me to walk a, a lead a life of integrity, and he set me up to do that. Um, but it, when he would talk to me, it was about life, it was about sports, it was about spiritual things. Things in life that I would need as I grow and as I mature, I can always look back on the things that my dad taught me, or the things that he said to me. And my dad is now uh, has, has passed. Um, he is in heaven. And, uh, but I still remember those things that he taught me. So Max, man, I hope that that, that helps a little bit. I hope that gives you some, some firepower. Uh, but I, I tell you what, you're doing a great job uh, just listening to your heart expressed here in your videos and on YouTube. I think you're, you're going down the right way. So continue doing what you're doing, and thanks for being an example to us. Um, I hope you blow some smoke rings in the air tonight, Max, and for everybody... Be blessed. I'll talk to you soon.